Meet the honey badger, nature's cockiest, scrappiest, most badass animal that really don't care. It is also known as ratels, and it belongs to the Mastelidae family and has 12 different types found in Africa, India, and Southwest Asia. You may have heard that they hold the Guinness World Record for most fearless animal. They don't, but they probably should. When fully grown, the honey badger measures around a meter long, including their tail. Males are larger, weighing up to 15 kilos, and females are smaller, weighing up to 10 kilos. However, in some parts of Asia, mainly Iraq, the females can be much larger, weighing up to 18 kilos. Honey badgers are incredibly adaptable and will live anywhere that they can find shelter and burrow. Despite what their name might have you believe, they're anatomically closer to weasels than they are to other species of badger. You might say that they're weasels on steroids. It gets the common name honey badger from what seems to be its favorite food, honey. Yet what they are actually looking to eat are the bee larvae found in the honey. Honey badgers are short and stocky and probably have the cockiest walk in the animal kingdom. The honey badger's hair is thick and coarse, mostly black, with a wide gray-white stripe that stretches across its back from the top of the head to the tip of the tail. Their skin is both very thick and incredibly loose, which allows them to withstand attacks and continue to move if another animal is biting them. Their skin is so thick that bee stings, porcupine quills, arrows, and bites from larger predators don't often pierce it. Their vulnerabilities, such as their eyes, ears, and tail, are all very small as to reduce exposure to attack. They have very strong bites with enough jaw strength to crack open a small tortoise. Yet probably their most distinctive feature are their long claws. These can reach 35 millimeters in length, and they use them for digging, be it burrows or finding dinner. They will dig out a burrow that is about three meters long to sleep in and can dig a hole the size of their body in a matter of minutes. The honey badger also has a gland at the base of its tail that stores a stinky liquid just as powerful as that of its lookalike. The smelly stuff is used to mark territory, but if the honey badger is frightened or threatened, it drops a stink bomb rather than spraying the odor like its skunk relative does. The honey badger's odor doesn't last long like that of a skunk's, but it still gets its message across. Their diet is vastly varied and is made up of at least 59 different species, including bee larvae, pythons, lizards, geckos, king cobras, and derbils. Why not? They dig up the majority of their prey, but will often climb up to eat nested chicks. Goshawks and jackals are a particular problem for the honey badger. They'll wait for the honey badger to do all the work, flushing the prey out of hiding, and then they'll swoop in to catch it before the honey badger can react. To balance the scales, honey badgers will regularly eat goshawk chicks and jackal young. Up to 25% of their diet is made up of venomous snakes, and they're able to maintain that diet because they're immune to many different snake venoms. But why not just avoid the snakes in the first place, like the rest of us? Well, if you're the only animal around who can take a bite, you'll have an entire species of prey to yourself. Snake venom is very complicated, containing over 100 proteins and other molecules that can attack your system in a multitude of different ways. Like the alpha neurotoxins found in cobra venom, these sit in your muscle cells nicotinic acetylcholine receptor, preventing them from receiving signals from the nervous system and shutting down your ability to breathe. Yet honey badgers have mutated their receptors to defend against this neurotoxin, stopping it from taking effect. So they'll take the bite, kill the snake, pass out, wake up, and eat the snake. Honey badgers can pose a problem for humans. They'll break into chicken coops and animal enclosures and then go to town with all the killing. Like other mustelids, they've been documented exhibiting surplus killing, killing far more than they need to eat. This is a huge problem for farmers, especially since they are possibly the cockiest animal on the planet 
and therefore are almost impossible to show away. It also doesn't help that honey badgers are very smart and are one of the few mammals who've learned to use tools. Many have learned to open gates, to roll logs, to stand on to better access prey, and they regularly escape from zoos. Female honey badgers carry their single cub for six to eight weeks during gestation and can give birth at any time of the year. Apart from mating season, honey badgers prefer to be alone. Sometimes they'll tolerate their mate's company, but interactions with other honey badgers often turn violent and end badly. To avoid socializing, honey badgers have evolved a clever way of communicating using urine, feces, and skin secretions. They mark prominent spots with these signals for other honey badgers to detect. Although honey badgers are incredibly tough, they're not invincible, and various parts of their body, like their paws, skin, fat, and organs, are used in traditional medicines. This is because of their fearless and tough reputation. Additionally, their meat has been spotted on the bushmeat market in places like Zambia and Guinea, mainly because other preferred bushmeat species are becoming scarce. Indeed, while the honey badger famously doesn't care, we definitely should. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments which other animals you would love to learn about, and be sure to subscribe for new episodes.